Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is King Rancher 13. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is the difference in the 2020 F-250 King Ranch and the 2017 through 19 F-250 King Ranch. I'll be breaking down the differences uh, in the interior, exterior, the motors, transmission, and a few little things like that. And I'm not, you know, a Ford technician or diesel tech or anything like that so I'm not going to talk about any numbers about horsepower and torque you can look all that stuff on online uh, on Google I just wanted to show you all a few differences side by side uh, as I've got mine black one and this new one that I've just bought if you haven't seen that video of me getting this one the other day I'll have it linked down below or you can tap on it over here and if you're just now joining this channel Thank you so much make sure to hit that like and subscribe we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and so uh, I, I'm pretty close I'm about halfway a little over halfway there I think at this point follow along on my channel check out what uh, what, what I'm gonna be ending up doing on this truck this truck is actually I think gonna be gone tomorrow a guy locally here uh, hit me up and he's wanting to buy it so we'll see how that goes but anyways follow along and uh let me break these two trucks down for you If there's any wind noise I don't have a mic yet which I need to get before breaking down uh, these key differences uh, where my buddy Logan's company LRS land services uh, t-shirt he's out of uh, northern Atlanta um, Canton ball ground area in Georgia he does fortune mulch and things like that so if y'all need anything like that around him give him a shout I think he actually does uh, South Georgia around Baxley as well but anyways one of the key differences is going to be the front uh, on this truck as y'all have seen in the past videos um, I've swapped it out with the platinum grill in 17 they came out with these uh, C, C bar um, LED headlights that look really good really sharp and I love them uh, they're super bright during the day and at night um, I used to run I think about 30 or no it was 15 percent on my windshield and I had no trouble seeing out of them except like maybe on some really dark back roads or something like that but uh, I don't have any windshield tint on this truck just never got around to it I actually just replaced the front windshield which costs a pretty penny because it's got the adaptive cruise control it's got that camera up by the rear view mirror and things like that so one of the key differences is going to be uh, this grill and headlight shape um, also the bumper uh, you'll notice is different so this is for the 17 and let me shoot over to the uh, 2020 and let me show you that one. all right so this is a 2020 sorry if I'm sweating beads it is hot out here I mean I try to record later this evening but uh, it's still hot out here so as you can see here uh, the difference in the headlight and the grill and the um, bumper the LED, uh, the LED um, go like that on the uh, top and then this on the bottom and then there's a break in the middle uh, for that turning signal um, as far as the grill you can notice that it's uh, got a little bowed shape uh, here hold up let me see. there we go a little bowed shape um, in the grill there now uh, also in the bumper you can see the fog lights uh, it's a little it's a little slim looking piece deal here but let me see if I can take you up close there you go the front air dam is ridiculous so we'll be doing some things uh, here this next week or so and now it should take care of that I think actually the tremor front valances are on back order currently with all the stuff going on the production for the parts being a little slower um, but as far as um, 
height clearance and things like that shouldn't be an issue after uh, this next week or so. All right, so the next key difference is going to be the tailgate. So this is on my 2017. Um, mine came with the chrome package, and as you've seen, I color matched the bumpers through using the bumper shells. Uh, I'll have the video linked up here or somewhere down around here. Or you can check out the videos in my channel. So you can see on this tailgate, I, I like it. Super simple, super clean. Um, I like that. I got the chrome package that came with that tailgate trim piece because it just sets it apart aside from having just a little badge right here or here with the King Ranch. I, th I thought it stood out a little bit. Like the Platinums and the Limiteds, they have a uh, trim piece as well. And so I'm glad I got the chrome package on, on my 17. So now in comparison to my 2020 tailgate, I also got the chrome package on it. I haven't taken the time to do the color match bumpers yet, um, but we'll be doing that here shortly. But you can notice the tailgate that King Ranch logo and uh, lettering is a little different. Uh, the Super Duty is right there instead of all on the bottom, li uh, like my 2017. Um, which one do I like better? I don't know. I think this this new modern looks growing on me, but I think I like the 17 to 19 one because it just looked a little bit more simple. This one's, I don't know, maybe I think it's gonna probably grow on me. Yeah, as of right now, if you ask me today, I like the 17 to 19 one better. Let me know in the comments down below on every difference, which one you like better on the 17 to 19 or on the 20. As far as the exterior on both these trucks, uh, there's some difference in the wheels, um, wheel options that are available. Obviously these are 17 and up platinum wheels that I've put on there. Um, there's a couple different options for these. I've actually got uh, some different King Ranch wheels that I'll be showing y'all here soon. Oh shoot, I guess I wasn't going to say it, but anyways, now you know. So I'm going to be putting on some different King Ranch wheels, the two-tone look. I just wanted, I, I got the chrome package because, I, again, like I said, I like that tailgate uh, applique or however you say that word or badging piece on the trim uh, on the tailgate so these chrome wheels are going to be taken off and I'm going to mount and uh, balance some mud tires I'm not going to say which one I'm sure y'all can guess in the comments what I'm going to throw on there anyways that's ex it for the exterior so let me uh actually well you know what there is I guess this is just a general difference in the 2020 to 17 but you can look at the top of the uh cabs there there's nothing on the uh, on top and on these 2020s there's uh, there's two um, things antenna I guess that's where they put their antenna in for uh, XM and um, I think there's also the 4g for the four pass and things like that probably up in there and I'm just gonna do a little plug before I go into the interior uh, make sure to check out our website and get some of our stickers I hope this isn't backwards when y'all see it but anyways pick up some merch all right so let's check out the interior and I've already done a video of the seven uh, of my interior before um, you can check it out and link up here or somewhere around here but anyways this is a 17 interior which they changed to the lighter color interior on 18 and up but anyways i love this king ranch color seats or i love these king ranch color seats rear seats and the darker King Ranch seats so I've got it all cleaned out for the, the next guy and uh, this truck has this factory spray and bed liner with the LED lights uh, and the button for it is over here somewhere let's see here there it is Got the plug for the gooseneck 
and mine actually didn't come with uh, Packer spray and bed liner. I'll be getting that done this next week. Oh, another difference is the tail lights are uh, a little bit different design. Not a huge difference, but it, it is different. Um, I think I like the new design better actually. It looks a little sharper. All right, let's go into the interior on this one. So everything is exactly the same, except the seat color on these 18 and ups are the orangish other color. All right, let's pop up in the hood and I'll talk a little bit of what I know of the 2020 20 FT50 uh, 2020 Power Stroke. One key difference uh, is, oh, I forgot to put that back on the other day for jumping a guy off. Um, the battery and the intake have been swapped. So on the 17 and through 19 trucks the battery is here and this in intake box is over there uh, and as you've seen in my video here or here with the new intake i put on my truck you can see um, that my intake horn went like that instead of like this like in the previous uh 11 through 16 six sevens so these trucks have oh, come on the new 10 speed transmission and from doing some driving I've got 1300 miles on it now I missed the thousand mile mark to to do this video but um, I've been getting about 21 20 miles per gallon mixed highway and uh, driving around town and so I'm pretty impressed with it uh, I put it in eco mode and so I get better fuel economy that way um, I think it just changes changes a little bit of the shifting and a little bit different power th things in the fueling and timing and all that stuff. I'm guessing is my guess. I, I, like I said, I'm not a four power stroke engineer, so I wouldn't know exactly. Um, my truck with 38s, well now I have 37s on there, um, gets about I think hand calculated about 19 and a half or something like that with uh, the delete and tunes. And so, you know, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, this one drives like really quiet. That one's still fairly quiet. It's just got a delete pipe on it. So, um, oh yeah, also if you need any delete kit things, was I supposed to say that? Give me a call, phone numbers in the bio. This truck will be getting some goodies done this next week. My thoughts on the 2020, I love it. I mean, it's it's a bone stock truck. Uh, so, you know, it, it rides decently good. Um, ride quality, uh, co stock compared to my lifted one with Fox Resis and things like that. Uh, I'd say it, it drives actually about the same maybe that one drives a little bit better because of the fox 2.0 resis um and the 37s just give a little bit more comfortable ride um as far as power and uh drivability uh i'll say that i'm pretty impressed with this 2020 uh it's got it's got i mean on paper i believe the horsepower levels horsepower and torque levels are uh significantly or maybe not significantly, but they're higher than the 17th or the 19s. But I will say this uh, this truck, I mean, a lot. there's a lot of times where it stays in 10th gear or whatever, and I'm, you know, I'm getting on a, just a little bit, and it, it holds its gear, and it just torques it out. Um, so I will say I'm, I'm fairly impressed with the, the power on it, especially stock. Got a little visitor. Oh, just shooting a YouTube video. Huh? Shooting a YouTube video. For what? YouTube. I mean, oh, for 
Oh, just truck stuff. Just truck stuff. <laughs> now you're in it. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking out the garbage. Yeah, tell us the lead pastor's the trash man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is a church that practices servanthood right here. Hey, Amen. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, anyways, I think that about sums up uh, my 2020 and the differences on it compared to the previous generation of the aluminum duty. Color-wise, I, I think I like this color better than the black. I will say when the black is clean, I just got it back from getting it totally detailed inside and out, and uh, I got total paint correction, stage, I don't even know the exact words, but it was like a four-stage or six-stage paint correction deal, and also some sort of coating. I think it's like some sort of ceramic or... I don't I don't know exactly but I just know it just costs a lot <laughs> so I hope the new uh, buyer is gonna be happy with it uh, it turned out awesome it looks really sharp but I'm excited to get to working on this truck here very soon um, this next week uh, I'll be I've got about four customers I've got to take care of and so hopefully I get to mine maybe middle of the week or towards the end of the week or something like that before I go out of town I've got to go visit my or trying to see if I can visit my wife after she gets done with her uh, basic training in Fort Sill I'm going to try to see if I can uh, beat the system and meet her at her AIT location in uh, San Antonio hey if you're around San Antonio let me know or on the way from Louisiana to San Antonio uh, I'd love to link up with y'all planning to drive this truck and I think that's all I've got. If y'all got any questions and stuff like that, please comment down below. I'll try to reach out to everybody as best as I can. But anyways, uh, yeah, these are my trucks and I love them. I'm a Ford guy, I'm a power truck guy all the way. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Again, if y'all aren't already, please hit that like and subscribe. Check out our business, OutdoorTrucks.com or see us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you need any parts, wheels, lifts, tires, uh, diesel performance, um, lighting, floor mats, weather techs, drop hitches, Gen Ys, stuff like that, just give us a call. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.